there is someone watching. Let me know if you have trouble with the video because um, it seems like it's not working properly. So I'm just going to go on and just let me know. Like I said in the description box, I'm kind of tired, so probably won't talk much. Just doing some line art with music in the background. So this from the prompt was yesterday is Unit Dragon. So I drew kind of a unicorn dragon killing killing kind of creature and I'm just gonna ink it just don't going to do the line art and of course I always start at the weirdest place Oops, too much ink. So yeah, for this one, like, the prompt was kind of, I don't know, not easy, but it's kind of, you just have to, like, find ideas to draw a unit dragon, so it's not like it has a particular meaning or something, so really it's more like getting creative creative with how you can explore design and and yeah get creative with creating creatures so yeah I mixed the of course the unicorn and um, we have got some elements from uh, Eastern Dragons with the 
whisker thingy. And western dragons with the wings. It's really like a, a melting pot, I think. And um, yeah, I give her four legs of, of dragon. And the hind hin legs are uh, goat-like, like the real unicorn. For real, <laughs> of course, unicorn. Unicorns are real. The yeah. Usually, the unicorn. Traditionally, the unicorn has um, uh, goat legs, hooves. Sorry, hooves. Let's see. I'm also like never, never really. I never really understood how to do the fluffy thingy of of hairs, furs. So they look pretty stiff. I should look at picture actually. I'm trying to not. Do the same thing over and over again, but even when I do it, it's like pretty stiff. But anyway, not sure about my hoops either, but. It's actually a good exercise for me to do that kind of ink inking uh, on, on live because I used to have my my face like three centimeters above my drawing. It's just not good for my eyes, and I can't do this because of the webcam. So it's good. Good as a size. Drawing the wings was kind of cool too. Um, I just received a book about how to draw dragons and I looked on it for advice and step by step on how to draw, draw wings. And actually this part goes up. Um, Correct. I try to give the um like the wings are half folded or something. And I'm not gonna do any ink wash or anything. Just just the line art. And I'll probably like save it to color it later to practice with Copic markers. Um, I added like spiky thingies on 
on the tail. And the tail is a mishmash of hairs and like, yeah. The tail of a dragon mixed with the tail of her. Oh crap, I was supposed to do that here. Oh well. This is what gel pen are for. Still trying to understand how um, this knee thingy, pen thingy work actually. So yeah, learning process. I don't know if I put too much ink, too little, too little, or. one. I don't really know what I did with um, the tail to be honest. I'm not, not, not sure of what is going on here. And I wanted all the fluff and I don't really know book about how to draw a dragon. There is this really cool tale and I wanted to include it. So yeah, I'm already done with the first stage of the of the inking line art. So I'll put it aside and ink the other one to let it dry and then I'll erase the pencil and add weight line. I'll always do that because um, sometimes the ink rubs off when you are raising and um, I don't want to have like go if, if I do the line weight after erasing I can go back to where the ink has rubbed off so yeah here we go so this is scars I had something else in mind to be honest I wanted to do like something more like heavily in terms of meaning um, I wanted to do like yeah scars you know scarification and all that jazz and I didn't like yeah <laughs> I think it was a bit too too dark so I've changed my mind and I did um, this is Amaya from the Dragon Prince and she has the scars on, on her face and she's like deaf and mute and she's such a warrior and she's a general I think and she's a fighter she is yeah and I think she pretty much represent well um, what I wanted to do first with my my first ID, which was yeah scars, and like scars are there are several types of scar. You have the one you do to yourself. You have the one that comes from surgery. Um, you have stretch marks. Um, I thought about um, breast cancer. And you have to remove one one breast and all those scars are survivor scars and 
in my opinion, scars are um, like a physical clue of strength and courage. And I think Amaya represent it pretty well. If you're not familiar with the TV show, I highly encourage you to go watch it because it's kind of childish, but it it really good. It's really good. It's not long. It's really nice, nice thing to watch. To be honest. So yeah. And I um if you watch my Inktober prep workshop um i did another dragon prince fun art and this time i really tried to do amaya my style without like copying the style from the tv show too much i try to keep like her physical feature but not straight like yeah because my fan art for the for the workshop was like yeah it was really like in the TV show. Whoops. gonna ink her scar in black. I have um, colorful inks that I'm probably gonna use for this and I'll do it in red. Since her scar is, her scar is in red, kind of red. Drawing armor is hard. I'm not sure it's it's correct to be honest, but Also, the pattern on this piece is not black, so I'll probably use colored ink to... I don't want to put my hands... Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to use color ink for this. I don't want to do black ink. And you can tell I'm tired because I'm inking that, like, I ink that before inking that and then I'm just putting my hands over it so I have, like, to do gymnastic to get around. So, yeah. But I really wanted to live stream today because I haven't live streamed for so long and I missed it. So I'm gonna try to make up for this in the next days. I'm not telling anything, but I'll try my best. 
So yeah, wait for more live stream next week. And I'm gonna go fetch my ink. So enjoy the with the music while I'm gone. during winter in Newton. It's technically ink, so I'm good. Let's see Scarlet one for the scar. Just let me Like canary yellow. This was scarlet. I took canary yellow for the pattern on her. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how it's called, but this part. Actually darker than in my memory. I use it. I already used it, and I think um, I remember it was super pale. But no, it's it's, it's gonna work. I'm just gonna use this, which is like usual pen to do her eyes because I don't trust my nib for this tiny detail. Okay, time to erase the uni dragon. And of course, I don't have my eraser. There we go. I don't know if I'm the only one, but like, it feels like when I'm drawing, I always lose my eraser. So, I buy a new one. I found, I lost, I lose it. I found the other one, I lose it. 
I buy a new, another one, etc., etc. It's like a never-ending story. Oh, I forgot to do her other thing. Also, um, about eraser dust like this. Are there stuff that exists like those um, sweeping things with hair? Um, sorry, enjoying tea. Otherwise, I'm I'm gonna forget. But it's it's actually good to get rid of eraser dust without smearing ink or putting, you know, body oil <laughs> on your drawing. And like getting rid of eraser dust. It is reminding me well, that one time I was drawing on my iPad and I used the eraser and I just flipped on the screen. Just with my hand on the screen. I felt so silly. Anyway. Here we go. And yeah, I went with the uh, weird shape for the horn. I don't know why. I saw a pig. I found it cool. So I did it. And my hands are a mess. But anyway. Okay. For line weight. I don't really care about having ink on my fingers. I just want to make sure they don't. It doesn't. I don't put it all over my drawing so I'm not the most experimented when it comes to line weight. All I can tell you is that it adds depth, dimension, etc. etc. to your drawing. So I highly encourage you to take the time to just add like it's it's line weight line no light wing sorry uh line weight uh, can't talk um is about thickening and some some part of your of your drawing line up line work to give it more depth and it's Usually you thicken the line on the shadowy part where you're gonna put a shadow after. And like the um, high part are most likely to be thin and the down part are most likely to be thicker. At least that's what I got from the last tutorial I watched. But it's something you gotta practice. And Inktober is made for this. So I'm really not happy with the hair uh, fur of my unicorn, but Unidragon. Sorry, not unicorn. But yeah, I felt that doing what I'm doing here uh, with the hair, the mane is really the best thing to do for line weight, at least the the thing that is I understood the most easily. So basically, you have like this intersection, and you're gonna thicken the line where they meet.
And it's not the cleanest line art I've done, but anyway. Gotta learn to use those tools. I'm most used to fine liner. I think I put too much ink and it dries. And then it's like kind of block. But it's hard to see where. I'm gonna try with less. But yeah, I'm most used to fine liner and. Yeah, fine liner. That are easier to use, to be honest. But sometimes, like on watercolor paper or paper with rough texture, it's it's better to use a nib. Otherwise, you buy like. A fine liner for every every piece you do so every artwork you do so this is why I'm using well on this paper I could totally use a fine liner because it's really smooth I'm sorry if you can hear the fan of my laptop, but it's struggling currently, so... And maybe if I leave this cord, it's gonna calm down, but... And you can see the difference between where I added line weight and where I haven't. So, like I said, it's it's pain to do, to be honest, because <laughs> you're already done. Your your you can do it, uh, this uh, when when you're inking. I always do it like separately. Because, like I said, I like to erase it before adding the, the line, line weight. But you can do it while you're inking your drawing. I said I wouldn't talk much, but. I'm babbling like crazy. And here I got the elbow, the young dragon's elbow. I can add like in the V shape, and it gives that. Okay, I think I'm gonna give up with this because it's not working like I want to work. I think the paper maybe not the best for this. 
neither, to be honest. So, yeah. I'm gonna put my ink aside. Well, my ink bottle aside. And I'm gonna use this one here because I feel like I'm struggling. Okay, this is not working neither. <sighs> and sorry if you hear stomping noise. My neighbor is back home and they're not really discreet. I know this kind of looks weird, but oh yeah, I think. But it's actually the part where the wing attached to the body, so but it's hidden behind her mobile. I think it's called. You can also use a brush pen. This kind of work to eye line weight because it kind of adds a light line weight as you ink because the brush, like you press onto it and it goes wider. But I'm not really familiar with it. I should break the ice, I know. <laughs> and it kind of saves you the pain to go back 
like I'm doing. But that being said, I kind of like doing this. So. It's relaxing. There's not much thinking. And I kind of messed up here. So, this is where the gel pen comes in. And there we go. And my lines here are super messy, so with going back with the with the pen it helps like clean it that it's if you like a clean line art, you don't have to. You can have really sketchy lines with the liner and it's super good actually but since the other the rest of the piece is super precise and clean I'm trying to be consistent I still need to try to do a piece that is like sketchy with ink I feel like whenever I draw with ballpoint pen it looks sketchy so
Okay. I think I'm, uh, I'm done here with the unicorn, unit dragon. So I'm gonna erase my up. wasn't dry and it has some air but it's okay I'm gonna retry with this one because I feel like I don't know why. It worked perfectly well the other day. Don't know why. And it's not the paper because I already used this paper. Why are you doing this? Like it's dry. Am I about to put too much pressure? Ooh, maybe it's that. figure this out later on my own because I mean I guess it's nice to see people struggling from time to time but I don't want to be boring neither so
Okay, fans are going crazy. I don't have any apps open. I don't know why it's doing that. I'll try to play the music from another source, maybe in a next time. live streaming because it's for it, it forces me to focus on what I'm doing there's no procrastinating no Pinterest Facebook Instagram checking a little bit of discord but other than that really immersing Okay, I'm gonna try to do uh, how did you have like a liner uh, eyeliner on fleek. So I'm gonna try to with like prompts um, from yesterday and today Unidragon scars um, it was kind of chill nothing much to see but yeah I wanted to do a live stream because I wanted to go back into the habit so thank you for joining thank you for watching um i'll see you in the next video and on discord bye guys